OFG family, what up, doe? Welcome to the crib, y'all. So today got a special video for you guys. We're in October, so what? We're three quarters through the year. We have basically three months left of the year. So I wanna show you guys my top 10 pickups of the year 2023. And I got a couple honorable mentions too. So let's get right into it, y'all. I'm gonna start off with my honorable mentions. I have three, but I'm gonna mention two. I'm gonna start off with two of them. So the first honorable mention, Coming in at number three, we have the Jordan 4 Thunder. Released May 13th over the summer for retail price of 210. Dope shoe, you guys already know, man. Uh, still dead stock, haven't worn it yet. I love fours, they are uncomfortable, but I do love fours. But this is honorable mention number three. I'm holding on these for a nice day to, to rock these. I'm gonna let all y'all beat y'alls up. And then when I break mine out, probably next summer sometime, they're going to be nice and fresh on DS. So the number three honorable mention, we have the Jordan 4, the Yellow Thunders. Coming in at number two, the number two honorable mention came out July 18th, I think it is. Is it July 18th? July 22nd. Sorry, y'all. I got my list. So, hey, I'm going to be looking at this list sometime. But anyway, July 22nd is the release day for 180 bucks. We got the UNC Toe Jordan 1 High OGs. Dope, dope shoe. We got the University Blue Soul. Toe box is University Blue wrapped with the black toe cap. Uh, white panels, black Nike check, black wings logo. Uh, dope material, dope shoe, another DS. Haven't worn yet, but uh, I love this shoe. Love the materials, love the colorway, love the color blocking. Dope, dope shoe. So. Came out July 22nd for a retail price of 180. Got them for retail too. All right, y'all, coming in at number 10, we got the Social Status and Nike, the Mac Attack Collabs. Really, really dope shoe. I love them, bro. You see, I did the, peeled off the, the check. They came silver, but they got the, uh, the uh, kind of, I guess you can say, what, a coral color under there, kind of pinkish coral color, dope shoe. Love the shoe off the gray bottom. Great material. You already know how they come in. And the panels up in here, just in case y'all didn't know, it's like 3M under these panels on the side where the Nike check is. So that's pretty dope. And on the toe box and throughout the uh, throughout the shoe, the netting part, the vinyl mesh part of the shoe is 3M back there. So dope, dope shoe. We got the silver lining. Silver linings dropped July 14th, 2023 for a retail price of 140. And then we got the social currency pair which is the most recent pair, which dropped August 25th, uh, 2023 for a buck 40. So dope shoe, man, comes with orange laces under the green check and uh, uh, around the collar and around the heel. Under that, if you tear it away, it's orange. So really dope shoe. I love the gum bottom. Uh, these are a DS pair, I haven't worn these yet, man. Shout out to all my people over at Social Status. Uh, the Whitaker Group, I'm Amanir. Y'all know who y'all is, man. Love you guys, man. Appreciate y'all. Uh, two retail pairs right here, man. So coming in at number 10, we got the Nike Mac Attack collab with Social Status. All right, coming in at number nine, releasing February 11th, 2023 for the retail price of 210, we got the Jordan 4 Crafts. So, or the Photon Dust. On the sneakers app, they came across as Photon Dust which I think is, uh, I think it's the color of the waffles, that photon dust color and the color of the lining of the tongue. But whatever have you, the Crafts is a dope shoe. Very, very underrated shoe, I feel like. Um, I think a lot of people slept on it just because it wasn't a collab, but it's cool with me. I'll take them for the retail. So dope shoe, multiple, um, multiple materials. You got the Harry suede that wraps the toe cap, smooth leather on the toe box. Uh, you got that like sail colored midsole. You got the photon dust color. I think that's what that is. So comment down below if I'm wrong about that photon dust color. The Jumpman logo on the heel and the waffles. Um, really, really dope shoe. Love it. I wore this shoe probably, I think I wore it once. So again, we have the Crafts releasing February 11th and they're coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight is uh, another... Uh, set of shoes same silhouette different colorways different release days but they both were retail price of 225 at number eight we have the ama manier 12s 
which the theme of these were black is the blueprint, dope, dope story, dope shoe, dope materials. Um, I love these shoes. Uh, I haven't worn the black ones just yet. Um, I'm saving these for a rainy day. They will get worn though. Y'all know I, I wear my shoes, so will get worn. Great material. Uh, the black ones released uh, February 24th, and then the white pair released the week after um, March the 2nd. So again, both of them were uh, 225 retail price. Another retail cop. Thanks to the family. Love you guys over there. And uh, again, dope shoe, man. Really, really dope shoe. So coming in at number eight, we have the Ama Manier 12s, the black and the white. Black is the blueprint. Coming in at number seven, one of my favorites. It would have been higher on the list, but it was so much OG stuff. As you can see, man, so much OG stuff came out this year and these would have been way higher. So when did they release? They released June the 7th for 125. We got the uh, Nike Air Flight Hirachis, man, or the Fab Five Hirachis. Dope shoe, man, uh, a lot of nostalgia behind the shoe. Uh, Tinker and his team killed it, man. We all know that Hirachis uh, were running shoes to begin with. This was cutting edge, the first Hirachi basketball shoe. Um, it's timeless, man, it's timeless. So. I love this shoe, dope shoe. Again, another dead stock. I haven't worn this shoe, but I plan on wearing it. But um, for 125 and coming in at number seven is what I call the Fab Five Hirachis or the Nike Air Flight Hirachis. All right, y'all, probably my favorite release this year due to the fact that I caught a major steal. If y'all, I think, did I have a video on this or it was either a video or, or something on Instagram I showed but a major steal on these, man. I'm so happy I got these. Never had these when they first came out. I think they released in 1993. So at number six, we got the Barclays, man. The Nike Black and Purple, Nike Air Max, whatever you want to call them, but they the Barclays, bro. Um, Cop these at the Nike store. They were on the hash wall. I guess someone had bought them on a sneakers app and they returned them at the Nike store. Um, so the wall, the box was cut, the lid was cut on the box. It was on the hash wall. It's a 10 and a half my size. So it was additional 40% off the hash wall. Long story short, the price, it came to like 118 and some change, bro. With my sneakers membership or something, I got some kind of discount and something else happened and it came to $118. Normal retail price for these were 170. So I got a great deal. And I was gonna, I was gonna pull. I couldn't find them nowhere. I was gonna pull the trigger on the resale market, but man, I just so happened to go to the Nike store that day. Man, go, go to y'all Nike stores, bro. You might find some steals, man. It's a hit or miss, man. Especially out here in Detroit. You know, I'll be seeing a lot of Nike stores like down in Florida and Chicago. A um, couple Nike stores around, man. Psh, they be lit. They be having all kind of just, just fire throughout there in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I'll be seeing all kind of Nike stores with, with heat, but ours, we really get some, but this was a great, great, great steal. So again, coming in at number six, we got the Barclays, y'all. So coming in at number five, another favorite of mine. Um, I wore these a couple times, but we got the Ama Manier Airships. Understand the why. Really, really dope shoe, dope story behind it, dope materials, you know, got the branding on the back, on the heel, um, got the I'm Mom in here and script on, on the tongue under the Nike Air tag. Um, I actually threw in uh, the laces, as you can see, the aglets. I don't know if you can see it good. Work harder so if y'all got our mom in your collection these are the laces that go in the i'm in your jordan tools um the stain laces that came with it i was like eh, it looked good but i just like how these sell laces from the jordan 2 i'm on in here just fit with these so well so dope shoe man love this shoe came out august 3rd for a retail price of 140 so 140 for the retail price dope shoe thanks again to the family love you guys you and yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> no, but yeah, I met James Whitner in these at the Black 
footwear uh, forum. I met James Whitner. I met a bunch of people, man. I said it in my last video. James Whitner, my man Mark, J Tips, uh, June Ambrose, um, DJ Jazzy Jeff, uh, uh, just a bunch of people. And I met, I built some nice, cool relationship with people all around, man. But anyway, coming in at number five, we got the Ama Manier airships. Understand the why. Coming in at number four, y'all, y'all know how I am, man. I'm a Jordan head. So I have these emotional attachments to uh, Kicks OG colorways that MJ actually wore it because it brings that nostalgia. It brings that memory back. I can remember certain games when he was wearing it, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, coming in at number four, releasing All-Star Weekend this year for 210 bucks. The playoff 13s, bro. So we know MJ was called the Black Cat. We already know uh, it's like a Paul Cat Eye. We got the ring because he's a champion. Uh, my guy put in so much work in these. After he put Indiana out, he went and threw on the 14s for that finals in 98. Uh, Y'all know the last shot. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a push. Chill out. But anyway, man, um, he pulled, uh, he won his sixth ring, not wearing these, but the year he wore these. So dope shoe, man, brings back a lot of memories. High school days. I never had these uh, upon original release. I had the He Got Games and I had the Flints. Um, but I never had these, so it was a treat to grab these for the retail 210 All-Star Weekend, February 18th, 2023, y'all. So, coming in at number four, playoff 13s. Number three, we in the top three now. So, number three, we got the playoff eights, man. September 30th, which is just a couple weeks ago, um, I actually got these early. Y'all should look at my video uh, where I did an early look review on these. Uh, my boy Buck, I love you so much, bro. He hit on his sneakers app um, account for me because he got the shot drop. I couldn't get through on a shot drop, but he did for me. So it's good to have good friends, y'all, who who support your passion and, and support your, your grind, bro. So, hey, shout out to my boy Buck. Love you, dog. But uh, playoff eights, man, like I mentioned before in the early review video, uh, these have an emotional attachment to me because in 93, I was a young guy. You know, just like a lot of young people who idolize him, uh, Michael Jordan tried to hoop like him and everything like that. This was my favorite uh, championship run out of the six rings. So this is the third ring out of the first three P. Uh, they played the Phoenix Suns in the finals, and he just went he went crazy, man. Even the series before that, when he played New York, when they played the Knicks, man, and they were down. That was bro. He really showed who he really was, man. And it was a three P. And it's just, it's just so dope. It's just so much behind this shoe. I was so glad that Jordan Brand dropped this this year. I couldn't wait when I seen it on the forecast. Um, again, such a, such a dope shoe. I do have the 2013 pair. So to get these, it was so dope. I'm happy that I got these for the retail price of $210. They came out, when did they come out? They came out uh, September 30th, but I got these, the, I think two weeks before the shot drop. It was either a week or two weeks before when the shot drop happened. So here we go. Playoff eight, y'all. So before we get into the top two sneakers of my favorite, my favorite pickups. Now, they might not be your favorites. You might have other shoes that in your collection that you picked up this year that maybe even be better than mine. But this is my collection. And this is specifically why uh, I got so many more shoes this year that I could have threw in here. But it was like I couldn't. But. The last of the uh, honorable mentions, which was very, very close to making um, that, that the very, very close to cracking the top 10, we got the corporate got them airships. So my dude, uh, what is uh, Matt Tama Michael, man, the owner of corporate, uh, which is a boutique in Cincinnati, representing the Midwest, salute to you, my bro. Um, this is the, I think this was his 15 year anniversary of having this store. So, uh, he worked with Jordan brand to drop these and these are so dope from the colorway to the materials. Um, just a real dope shoe on the back. He got the got em. Then they got the, they got the, uh, hang tag with corporate on one side and Jordan brand logo on the other side. So they released September 8th for $150. Shout out to Up NYC, 
I got these from there. I couldn't find them on release day. Uh, I think I got them the day after they released on the Up NYC app, bro. And dope, which is Fat Joe's uh, boutique in New York. So, hey man, for the Buck 40, these are so dope, bro. And they come with different laces. I think they come with the blue laces like this, the teal laces, and they come stock with the white ones. So, dope shoe, white midsole, great outsole. Really, really dope shoe, man. Can't wait to wear these, man. Shout out to uh, Matt, Tom, and Michael, bro. Dope, man. Dope. So, guys, back to the countdown. We are at the top two. Now, if you watch my video of my favorite pickup so far, which was, uh, I think I dropped that in March or some, somewhere early in the year. If you didn't watch it, then, hey, whatever. Number two, dropping March 21st for the retail price of 225 Got a lot of people favorites, which is it's number two, so it's kind of my favorite too. You got the SB4s, man. So you can see I wore these a couple times. I think I wore these like three times. Um, I love this shoe. It's the most com comfortable four that I ever put on because it was reinforced for skateboarding for SB. And it was reinforced, so it doesn't have the same uh, mechanics or specs as the normal uh, fours, which I wish all the fours felt like this. But these are so, so comfortable, bro. I love these, man. Green is my favorite color. That white with the gray uh, suede or uh, new buck wrapping the toe and got the hints, got the gum on the toe, gum on the heel, the red air mat, the red encapsulated exposed air unit, Nike SB on the, on the uh, heel, the red MJ logo, Jumpman logo, man. The red insole, just dope shoe, man. Dope shoe, and that's why it's number two, bro. So you guys already know what's number one, the shoe release on March 11. I've been anticipating this shoe uh, for since I first heard about it. And again, like I said, it released March 11 for 210. Got it for retail, and we got the reimagined threes, bro. Um, I, as you can see, I wore these a couple times. I wore them like three or four times, man. I love these shoes. They go with everything. Dope shoe. They're comfortable. Um, you got the age look on the heel with the Nike Air. You got the age midsole. You got the elephant print. People complain that the elephant print don't match to it. Man, look, bro. Jordan Brand, thank you for these. These are dope. Um, Cause I, I didn't never, I never had a pair of white cements. I had a chance to get the from the line joints, man. Y'all know same shoe, but it has the uh, translucent sole with the red, like, because he stepped on the line. But those are, like, real bubbly and fat. I don't really go for those. These are cut more to the uh, OG than any other three. So, dope shoe, man. This is my favorite pickup so far of the year 2023. But things may change. Because I'm going to drop another video of my top 10 pickups. And I'm going to have some honorable mentions coming in the near future at the end of the year. Because there's some things on the horizon, bro, that may surpass this. Y'all tune in and check it out. Hey, that'll do it, y'all, for this video, man. I appreciate y'all tapping in, uh, uh, taking a peek into my collection, man, and seeing my top 10 pickups plus a couple honorable mentions of the year 2023 so far. We still got three months left counting this month and at the end of this month is some heat that's gonna bump something off so y'all pay attention and let's see what happens at the end of the year or the beginning of next year once i drop my favorite pickups for the entire year of 2023 man so again thank you guys for tapping into my channel i love you guys so much appreciate the love and support make sure you comment like subscribe uh and, and, and keep tuning in, man. We're going to keep going up and we're going to keep growing and we're going to keep growing, man. It's nothing that's going to stop us from the passion. This fire burns for a reason. I heard that from somebody. So, hey, thank you all again, man. I love you. And if you're on your own journey, always remember to keep making noise until somebody hear you. Because soon enough, somebody going to hear you, man. All right, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. Keep watching my videos. You heard me? All right. Peace. Ah, good water. Remember, I got these for 118, not 170. But they were retail. Yeah. Okay. We, we can edit this.